Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, today another puzzle from Richard Stolk's brilliant Sudoku variant series. He's up to a 379th different variant, which by, by, the, by this puzzle, I'm sure he's well beyond that now because this was from a few weeks ago. Um, amazing that he can keep coming up with new variants for that series. Now, Simon today, talking of new stuff, has put up a crossword solve on the channel and it's a very interesting puzzle. The video um, reveals what's going on in the puzzle. And it is, needless to say, rather brilliant. Uh, really impressive grid construction from Rodriguez. Do have a look at that. Um, and some very good clues, actually. So all good. Uh, and of course, all good on Patreon, where we have our uh, monthly challenge. It's a linked Sudoku challenge. We're getting hundreds of correct entries every day. Well done to everybody who's finished it. That's great. It is quite approachable, but there are some certainly tricky bits and uh, hats off if you've finished that. Thank you, as always, for watching the channel, learning a bit from what we're saying occasionally, maybe, or at least despising how slow we are one way or the other. Um, anyway, those are all going on. Of course, you can check the other links under the video for our apps and uh, including the 500k app, which is proving very popular. Um, Simon's considering whether we should stream some of the puzzles from it uh, since it's free content. I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. That'll be interesting. But today's puzzle is Multiple Arrows Sudoku by Richard Stolt. Richard is a, uh, a Dutchman, I believe, who has uh, created these brilliant puzzles since the dawn of Sudoku. Uh, this series itself has been running for 379 weeks and uh, you will be quicker than me at working out how many years that is. It feels like at least seven. Um, and it's astonishing. It's often very good. And this one, I believe Richard himself thinks this one's a good one. So <laughs> I'm sure he's right. Let's have a go at it and see how we get on. You can judge from the video length um, how tough it is and whether you want to have a go. But I am going to read the rules uh, and then restart the clock. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So that's one to nine in every row, column and box. The sum of the digits on a line between two circles is equal to the product of both digits in the circles. So you're going to have to multiply these two digits together. Say they were four and eight equals uh, multiplied together equals 32, and then these digits on the line would add up to 32. Uh, in each calculation, digits may be repeated. So I suppose there will be, yeah, you could have a 2 and a 2 in both of those, and a 4 on the line, or, or you could have repeated digits in the 32, or one of the digits, if you had 8 there, one of those two could be 8. I mean, there's all sorts of repeat ways you could be involved in this Sudoku. So anyway, that's the rules. Very simple. No given digits in the grid. Richard has clearly created another of his masterpieces. Let's restart the clock and let's get cracking. So <laughs> I say let's get cracking on an, on an uptick as though I'm about to surge in, but I have no idea where you start with this one. So Okay, I'm going to start with this dumbbell here. Um, I don't think, I think these numbers are 2, 3, or 4. Now, how am I getting that, you will wonder. Okay, what I'm seeing there is that you can't have a 1 in either of those circles. And that's because then the other digits would have to be the same, and they're in the same box. So that's not possible. Therefore, these two digits are going to multiply together, not including a 1, to give this, which has to be no more than 9, obviously, because it's a Sudoku digit. Um, and I think you can only do that if you multiply 2 by 3 or 2 by 4. So that's a 6 or an 8. I think that's right. I don't see a flaw in my logic. It's going to apply on this one as well. That's going to be a 2 or a 3 or a two or four, and that's a six and eight. And look, it's going to apply on this one as well. So I think that's right. I, I'm a little nervous of this conclusion. I don't know why. I think it is right. Nine, none of these that I've highlighted could have a one in the circle, but I daren't highlight this one 
because it could have a 1 in the circle if the 1 was there. So although it's a 3-cell or a 1-cell line... Oh, in fact... Ah, right. In fact, yes, there is a 1 here, which I now know because that can't be a 2 because there's a 2 in this box. That can't be a 2 because there's a 2 in one of those cells. Um, therefore, they're not both two. Oh no, wait, they could both be threes, and we could have a nine there. Now, I thought we were going to be able to put a one in, but now I'm nervous about that as well. So, oh, that's weird. I, I'm going to mark that this is either one or three. I think these are the only two possibilities that I found. Either there's a one in this, then these two can be anything they like, or these are a pair of threes, because neither of them can be twos. I'm confident that's right. So I don't think this can be any higher, because that can't be a one, because they'd be the same in the same box. So this is at least a three. And therefore, this can't be more than a three. That is, oops, one or three there. Um, I think that conclusion is right, so I'm sticking with that. Now, I've been putting this off for a while, but I think I'm going to have to look at these two circles. Right, six cells in the same box can add up to anything between 21 or 39. So they could add up to 21 if they were the six minimum digits. Actually, they can't be that. They could now be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, which would be 24. So somewhere between 24 and 39, which would be the six maximal Sudoku digits are is the product of these two, somewhere between 24 and 39. Now, what does that teach us about, about what this can be? Ah, yes. If it was 24, these would either be an 8, 3 or a 6, 4. And now I'm sure that if you don't know the secret, you will want to be inducted into the club of people who know that the total of every Sudoku row, column and box is 45. Yes, it is. Every time, 1 to 9, add up to 45. By rule, they're in every row, column and box. So, if those added up to 24, and if those were 6 and 4, that would be a total of 34 in those cells, which would imply that this one had to be worth 11, which it can't be. So it's not 24. Um, the, other, the other alternatives worth considering, 8 and 3, but still we're only getting up to 35, and with that having a maximum of 4, it's, it's just not what happens. So it's not a 24 total. It can't be 25, because they would both have to be 5. It can't be 26, because that's got a 13 factor. 27 is possible. If that was 3 and 9... No, that would get us to 39, and this would have to be a 6. That's not possible. Right, let's try 28 with a 4 and 7. That gets us to 39. This would have to be a 6 again. 29 has a prime factor of 29. That's not possible. 30, that would need a 5 and a 6 here, and a 4 here. So 30 is very possible. Let's just ink in 5 and 6 as possible. I'm going through the 30s now. 31 is prime. That's no good. 32 would have 8 and 4 here. Ah, which would need a 1 here, which is not possible. 32 plus 8 plus 4, 44. Yes. And now we're getting too high. 33 has an 11 factor. 34 has a 17 factor. 35 would be 7 and 5 here. That would take us up to 47. We're not going to find another number that we could add the number and those two factor cells and leave anything possible. So it is 30. That's really weird. So this 5, 6 is right. 41, this becomes a 4. And now we can fill in some digits. 4, 8, and 2 there. This becomes a 6. This is a 2, 3 pair. Now I think we do know that this is a 1 and that these two are the same as each other and they're not even or 1 or 3. They're 5, 7, or 9. Now, what do we go after next? This one, maybe? Yeah, that's 5, 7, or 9. Those are quite interesting totals, actually. 
What's this going to be? Oh, I'll tell you something else. There's going to be a one in one of these three cells. If it was on the line, yeah, that wouldn't work. If it was on the line, you couldn't get the total higher than 10. And any of these numbers minus at least three there is more than 10. So one is in the circle. So these two add up to, they can't add up to five because they can't be one, four or two, three. If they add up to set, they can't add up to seven because they can't involve a one or a two or a three. So they add up to nine and they are four, five. And now that's become a nine and we're actually underway here. Now there's a five there, so that's a six. We are ending up with a seven, eight pair at the top that I can't do anything with. This is a four, eight pair. This is a five, seven pair. Sudoku comes to our rescue at this point. That's a really interesting start. I mean, there may be other ways to break into this puzzle, but I couldn't think of them, I will admit. Um, two, nine up there, five, three, six, seven. Ah, now, this can't be more than three. With a five there, yeah, these two cells can't add up to 30 or 35. So that is a three. Six or seven there, and this is its complement to make 15, so that's eight or nine. Right, now how are we going to get out of columns one, two, three? Okay, here, this can't be a four. That doesn't prove much about this. So what about these dumbbells? Right, um, we could have a one on them. I think. One, okay, well, what are the possibilities? One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. So we've clearly got to have a low digit. We can't have seven times eight or anything. Now, can it be two low digits? And the answer I think is, oh, it is no. So it can't, can't be one times two or one times three. That just doesn't make sense for these two cells. Even at one times three, you can't put two one there. But uh, two times three is six. And there are two ways of making that up, but one of them involves a four and one of them involves a five. So that's not happening. So there is a low digit and a high digit here now. The high digit can't be three because two cells can't add up to 21 or more. Sorry, the low digit can't be three. I don't know if I said the right polarity there. Now, is it two times seven or eight? I think both of those Oh no, two times seven is not possible. For this reason, these two would add up to 14 and would have to have either a five or a six, which they can't have. Two times eight is possible, and this would be a nine, seven pair if that happened. Otherwise, it's one. Two times nine is too many because they can't add up to 18. One times nine would make this a two, seven pair. It couldn't be five, four, six, three, or one, eight, because of the one we'd be using. So one times nine, one times eight. Can't, couldn't be one, seven, six, two, or five, three, not possible. One times seven, which would be seven, can't be, oh, it can't be six, one, five, two, or four, three. Right, this is either one, nine, or two, eight. And there's, that's interesting, there's definitely a seven in one of these cells now. One, so it's either one nine with two seven. Oh, so there's always a two used there. And now this becomes a three. Excellent. So that's a two, that's a six. We can do the two and nine here. This isn't a two now. This isn't a two. Um, so if it's one nine, two, seven, that becomes an eight. And if it's two, eight, nine, seven, that becomes a one. Hmm, I don't quite know what to do next. Let's have a look at this one. Three times, well, it's not two. It's not gonna be one, because that's not enough. So three times four is quite possible. Well, this would be a five, seven for sure. Okay, three times four would give a five, seven here. Three times five would make these add up to 15. They'd have to be eight, seven. So again, there might always be a seven. Three times six is too many. Oh, and now I've got a four, five pair in the row. So actually those are 
8 and 7. It is a 15 product. That is a 5. Fix is 4 and 5 there. 7, 8 pair makes this a 9. We can put 6 as its complement to make the 15. Sorry, let's just get that done. 7 there. And that's quite good progress again. Um, right. Now, can this be an 8? I'm going to have a look at that before I tackle this heart rate monitor in the middle. Um, if that's an 8, this can't be a 1 because you can't make 8 with 4 cells. It can't be a 2 by Sudoku, which could be helpful. Uh, this could be a 3 or a... F it can't be a 4. That's too many. 32 is too many for 4 different cells. So if that's an 8, that's a 3. Now, if this is a 4... Again, this can't be one for the same reason, or two. It could be three. It could be four as well. These could add up to 16 or 20. Oh, or 24 or 28. Oh, that, that's not so profitable. Uh, I might have to look at this bleep, bleep. Um, Hmm. Oh no, hang on. Sudoku. One and six have to go in this box. Okay, that is, there's a start. Two, three, and four up here. This can't be a three. Right, so we get a two or a four there. And this is a five, seven, nine triple actually. Look, we've got all sorts of triples we can write in here. One, two, six. So, what does that tell us? Um, if this was a four, this is getting a little big, 20, uh, 20 or 28, 7 there, right, if this is a 4, this can't be 9 or 7, because that's just too big to fit the requi requisite total on these cells, 28 would require these to add up to 21, which isn't per se too big, but there just aren't enough digits here to add up to 21. The highest digits would give 18. So 4 would have to go with 5. I'm just going to corner mark those to remind myself what I'm thinking about. If that happened, that's 20. We've got 7 on the line already. These would add up to 13, which could be 3, 4, 6, 8, 4, 1. There's loads of ways these can add up to 13. Okay, so that's possible. What about 2 then? 2 and 5 wouldn't work because these would only have to add up to three. Ooh, two and seven would require these to add up to seven. They can't be one, two, four, because those could only be four out of that total. Two and nine, can we rule this out? If we can, we're in business. Two and nine, 18 minus the seven there, these would add up to 11. Ah, three, Three and eight or four and eight up here would be too many. And three and four would need a four down there. We can rule that out. So this is four and five. These 20 is the product. These add up to 30. Now there's a lot of ways of making those up, but I can now put in three and two here. Take out the five possibility from there. This can't be three or six anymore. So this can't be 8 anymore because a 4 there would make this at least 32 and that's too many. So that's a 4. That's an 8. Now, do these add up to 16 or 28? If that was a 7, they'd add up to 28. Ah, which couldn't use a 7. It would have to be 9, 8, 6, 5. And that's not possible because 6s can't be on that line either. So that's a 4. These add up to 16. Now, what have we got? That is 7, 8, or 9 by Sudoku. Well, it can't be 9, because that would have to be 1, 2, 4. If it's 8, this would be 1, 2, 5. And if it's 7, these would add up to 9. They've always got a 1 on. Is this, I think this is right. Oh, hang on. This can't be a high digit because we've only got one, seven, eight, and nine in the column. 
And if those two were high, they'd already add up to 15 in a total of 16. So that's a 1. And that is 7, 8, or 9. Now, 2, 5, 1 is possible to go with an 8. Or, it's either, oh, it can't be 2, 6, 1, because those mean that that can't be any of them. So it would have to be 3, 5, 1. So it's either 5, 3, 1 in that order, because of that 3, to go with a 7, or 2, 5, 1. And one, oh, look, one of those is a 5. Perhaps more importantly, there's a 2, 3, 5 triple in this row. And these are from 7, 8, 9. One of those is a 9 in the column, so that's not a 9. Now I've got a 1, 8 pair, so that's not 1 or 8. That hasn't resolved this. It's either 1 times 9 or... Oh, that, that 1 has resolved it. So we get 8 there. Uh, that's a 1. This must be a 2 now. These are a 9, 7 pair. That works. I'm going to take out the corner mark. Right, that's not an 8. So that's a 7, 9 pair. And this is an 8. These now add up to 7 and are 2, 5. And we're away again. 3, 2, 8, 4, 1, 2, 5. 9 must be here. 3 must be here. This is a 6, 7 pair, which, like the 8 above, resolves that. We get a 4 at the top of the column. This is a 1, 5 pair that I can't resolve. Now, we've got two line. Oh, we've still got to resolve that somehow. Maybe that will come at the end. We've got this line left, which I've been a bit scared of. And I still am. That hasn't really changed. Oh, well, let's have a look at each individual cell. This could, or the cut circles. That can be one, five, six, or seven. This can be three, four, six, or seven, I think. Hmm. Maybe I'll have a quick look at this one as well. Two times, oh, it's only adding two cells. Right. Two times three is not possible. Two times four would make that a five, three pair. Mm, two times five would leave several possibilities, as would, oh no, two times seven, I don't know. I, don't, I think I'm going to have to go down here, bother. Do some actual maths again. Right. So this can't be a one or you never get to the right total. That's obvious. Or maybe, ah, look, yes. Maybe if I do enough elimination, I get a little bit of a Sudoku play. There's a triple. So I can put two and one in the box. Um, and that two fixes six, one, two. Now, what did I need here? I've now got eight. These have to add up to 12. So they're eight, four. That's... Oh, hang on. What have I just done there? Okay, I've just written three in that cell. Sorry about that. This is still true that this has to add up to 12. Yeah, I just mistyped a figure. So that's a three. This now isn't a three. Uh, it's also not a six. So things have moved on. A... Oh, it's not a seven either. There's a seven, eight, nine triple there. Right. So these either add up to... Well, the product is either 20 or 24. If it's 20, they add up to 20. Plus 6 and 4 is 30. Plus 2 there is 32. That has to be a 13. That's not happening. So it's 4 and 6, 24. Those add up to 24. These take the total up to 36. That's a 9 to make 45. And now I think we are getting close. Let's 7, 8 pair there makes that a 9. Um, oh, that doesn't fix anything across. Never mind. That 7, 9 has been resolved. That does 7, 8. That does 4, 8. What are these two numbers down here? A 3 and a 5 that I can't resolve. But they help fix these. Oh, so we're just up to this one now. 2, 8, 9, 1, 6, 7. That is, oh, that's 3 or 5. There's only one place for 4 in the column. And we've got three, that is three or five, so we can play six. Now, I'm going to do the Sudoku first before looking at the totals. Oh no, there's nothing I can do with the Sudoku. Okay, well, this is a deadly pattern that is resolved here. Now, is that a three? No, they can't add up to as little as six. So that's a five, and then three, seven makes ten, 
And that must let us finish. What a lovely puzzle. Oh, again, I've mistyped something. Let's just go back. That was a five, and I typed a six. Sorry about my typing today. Seven, eight, one, five, one, three, and then the three, five has been resolved down here as well. And that's the finish. Lovely. I mean, I Richard Stolk's puzzles are brilliant. A long time ago, several years ago, my colleague Tom in the UK Sudoku team reviewed uh, some of the puzzles in a forthcoming... I think he was looking at the example puzzles for a, a pack at the World Championships and said, oh, yeah, yeah, these ones are mostly standard as if they were by Richard Stolk. And I didn't know what it meant at the time, but I do now. It means they're going to be high quality, quite approachable, good fun puzzles. And he delivers every time. Thank you so much for watching, uh, as always, on the channel. Hope to see you again soon, and bye for now.